A couple of weeks ago on our show, we reminded you to take cuttings of easy to root plants like coleus so you can grow them through the winter and plant them out and enjoy them again next year. Coleus roots very easily even in just a glass of water or you could make one of these little propagation chambers like we've got right here. And you can see we just made this out of a two liter clear plastic bottle. We've uh, just cut it here about two thirds of the way down and we put some holes in the bottom of this lower part and we've got our, our media in here. It's a very well drained soil mix. It's got a lot of the white perlite so it drains very well. But uh, we can just take a cutting of coleus, take a stem cutting and of course we want to remove those lower leaves, maybe even the next set of leaves if the stem is very long. And another little trick that we do that uh, you can also do to uh, give you more room in your propagation chamber is just to cut the leaves in half. This doesn't hurt the cutting at all. It'll, it'll root just as easy. And what we'll do next is to come and dip this cut end into some rooting powder. This is rooting hormone. We'll just kind of cover that lower stem, getting some on the, uh, the node there where those, where those leaves were. This rooting powder is something you can get at pretty much any nursery or garden center. You want a very weak one. This is a number one rooting hormone. You don't want to get anything that's too, uh, too, too, too large of a number because uh, you can get some acid burn on your plants that way. But uh, once it's, it's coated, we'll just kind of tap it to knock off that excess rooting powder. And then I like to just take my, my pinky or a pencil and just make a hole in the soil, put that in, and then just kind of firm it in. Now we pre-wet this media, but you don't want to keep it just soggy all the time while you're trying to get these roots. You just want it to be a little bit moist. And then the, uh, the top part of the uh, chamber is the top part of the bottle. And you see we've cut a slit in two sides here. And we did that so there wouldn't be too much heat build up inside there. And we just slip this on. Another thing you can do to keep the heat from building up in there is to come by and maybe take the cap off occasionally. And you want to put this somewhere in direct uh, or bright light, but you don't want direct sunlight. We don't want too much heat to build up inside there. So I'm going to take this and put it down here in the shade of our little table. Now, rooting, cutis, cole, rooting coleus cuttings in uh, water is, again, very simple. You just remove those, those lower leaves and you don't want the leaves to touch the water. And it's also a very good idea to come by and change out the water every two days. Just take the cuttings out, pour it out, and add fresh water. And that's because the oxygen will get used up in there pretty quick. And we don't want the roots to develop in an environment with uh, very low oxygen. They just won't develop the right way. But uh, leave them in there for a few days. You'll start to see roots. And once you get roots that are about an inch long, you can pull them out and pot up the, uh, the cuttings or your new plants and grow them on through the winter. It's important when you're taking cuttings of coleus that you select stems that have the color that you want. Right here we have a variety of coleus or a cultivar called Amore. And you can see the unique colors, kind of the pink bottoms of the leaves but also right beside it, this somewhat less desirable greenish plant is also a moray. And what happened is the grower took cuttings of the plant, but they took different stems that had different colors. And they ended up with plants that look almost completely different. Uh, even on the same plant, you can have portions of the coleus that have different colors than some of the other stems. So it's important that you go in and you select those stems that have the best color. The chromosomes of a lot of our new sun coleuses are somewhat unstable. And although it can be kind of neat to see a new color, or a new mutation from a stem kind of sporting off and looking completely different, and we can take that and create a new plant, we also need to make sure that we keep our plants that we have true to color. So when you're collecting those stem cuttings from your coleus, again, it's very important that you select stems that have the color 
that you want.